Hi there, Paul Godkin, Time Crunch professor, and it's Sunday night. It's the last week of school, and I have a stack of essays that I'm marking. So this is a course, we do have a final essay at the end of the year, not a huge one, uh, 2,500 words, so eight to 10 pages. Not a bad one. These, the, the thing with essays, they take a long time to mark. Long time to mark. So. Um, if you know me, I will use any kind of technology I can to, to speed up anything. But this is actually something where I think it's worthwhile to go old school. So we use uh, learning management software like a lot of schools do in higher education. So we have Desire to Learn, which has been tweaked for us. We call it eConestoga. And uh, lots of schools use Desire to Learn or Blackboard. Those are kind of the two big ones. And um, so students can submit stuff electronically. We can bring up, you know, a rubric or marking scheme and, and fill that out and give the comments online. Uh, a lot of profs do everything online. They'll take a student's essay, they'll download it, they'll put on track changes in Microsoft Word and put their comments right on the page and then upload it again. Um, I find all the downloading and saving and then uploading to be kind of a pain. I know some um, profs I know at school actually have got around it. They've got like a Microsoft Surface tablet. So they, they download it onto the Surface tablet instead of using track changes. They actually take a stylus pen and write their comments right on the document and then send that to the student. Um, but I have found that the simplest, fastest thing is I take, you know, half an hour and print off all their essays. Just print them off, put a staple in them, and then at the back I attach a little marking scheme. So I've got a marking scheme that I got from a colleague actually. It's a new one that I'm trying. It has seven different categories. For instance, we're looking at, I don't know, depth of analysis, thesis paragraph, evidence. Uh, we have clarity. We have spelling and mechanics. There's seven different criteria and then descriptions. Um, they can do things, you know, to about four different levels of success and we, we mark off each one. So it's a lot of categories, but it's so detailed that actually for me to circle it with a pen um, gives them a pretty good idea where they went right and where they could do better. And the nice thing about having paper is I write right on the papers. I, you know, I can leave lots of, if you get an essay back from me, I mark all the grammar, my background's journalism, I can't help it. Um, <laughs> Uh, I teach public relations, so we always tell them, hey, you should be writing better than most people in the population. So yeah, I, I'm that guy and I mark every single thing I can find. And leave comments, good stuff, um, areas to improve, that kind of stuff. But um, I do find a piece of paper and a pen. I'm not a guy who goes to the red pen, I use a regular pen. But a um, piece of paper and a pen. Paper is a good technology. Paper is a great technology. It's one of our oldest technologies. This doesn't need any power. I can do it anywhere. This weekend, sitting in a coffee shop, um, we were visiting my wife's family in Port Elgin. I could go down to the beach. I could sit on the patio. There's no glare off my screen. And actually, you know what? I came away more relaxed because I spent a couple of days marking without any screen time. I get sick of screen time. Let me tell you, I teach public relations. I teach some social media stuff. And I get sick of being in front of a screen. I won't lie to you. Um, so to just spend some time old school with paper and pen, um, it is great. It's cathartic. It's fantastic. Um, and, I, and I think I get a better look. I can give more detailed comments. It's, uh, it's just better. So that is my tip. Uh, I think it's better to go old school. You can even play little tricks. Like one little trick I do is I'll take, I don't know, take, and I've talked about this before, is I take four essays, maybe five, I put them in a stack and I turn them sideways. So they're sitting on a stack on top sideways. And then I take one and mark it. And then I mark it and I'm like, hey, there's only four more there. And then I take another one and I mark back. And then there's only three and then the pile is gone. And then, you know, hey, you treat yourself. You get a refill on your coffee, take a break, whatever. But I find if you just plug away, it really helps. So the nice thing is you can take these with you anywhere. And anytime you're doing anything, there's, hey, there's a, 20 minute lull in my day. I can rip out my pages, mark one, put it away, move on to the next thing. Uh, it's amazing how many, you know, 
you know, 15 or 20 minute breaks there are in your day when you can get stuff done. I mean, just because you don't have a five hour block because you're like me, you're busy with family, you're busy with work, you have meetings, you have interruptions. It's amazing though how many 15 or 20 minute breaks there are in your day. I mean, you have things on paper and you're not reliant on a computer, you can get a lot of stuff done. So uh, that, that is my tip. I'd love to hear what you think and uh, you can make some notes in the comments below or send me an email. Thanks.